Hi everyone, it's Miss Julie. Today I'm reading Wild Feelings by David Milgram, published by Scholastic. Can you recognize some of these animal shadows? Do you see a lion? How about a dog? Can you find the monkey? Do you see a donkey? How about a mouse? Do you see the rooster? How about the bat? The bat is hanging upside down. Somebody's having fun swinging on a vine. This book is going to compare some of the feelings that we have with animals. Do you ever feel stubborn as a mule? Go to bed. And it does not look like that child wants to go to bed. That child is being stubborn. Or as chicken as a chicken, do you want to pet the nice doggy? That child does not want to pet the doggy. That child is running from the doggy. How about as clumsy as an ox? Oops, you probably do. Do you sometimes feel as sad as a lost kitten in the rain? Or as small as a mouse? How about totally and completely alone? Sometimes it feels nice to be alone, but sometimes you kind of want company, don't you? Or as daffy as a duck. Or positively batty. Do you sometimes get really, really, really mad? and feel totally out of control and you don't even know why? Of course you do. Everyone does. The dad's down on his hands and knees saying, oof, oof, oof. and the mom does not look happy. She's wearing a donkey hat and the grandpa is wearing a walrus suit and he's sleeping. Uh-oh, it looks like there's somebody in a bird suit saying oink, 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 oink. It's only natural. We all have lots of feelings. Grown-ups and children have feelings that feel good and feelings that feel not so good, and sometimes feelings that are even confusing. But it's natural to have feelings, and it helps to talk about them.